Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Isabella Sisilawati. I'm an excellent Palbia enthusiast with decades of business experience in the field of reporting, planning, and analysis. I publish weekly tips on YouTube every Thursday on how we can leverage Excel and Power BI to be more efficient and more insightful at work. Today, I will show you how we can build not one, but three waterfall charts in Power BI in less than five minutes. Before I get started, some of you may be wondering, what is a waterfall chart? A waterfall chart is something that looks like this. This waterfall chart is showing sales year-on-year -year movement from year 2013 to 2014. The starting point is sales in year 2013 of 54 million. The ending point is sales in year 2014 of 92 million. And in the middle are green blocks, which are showing year-on-year -year growth from various segments, with largest and most prominent one coming from government and small business segment, both growing at 15 million per annum, followed by enterprise segment growing at 7 million per annum. As you can see, a waterfall chart is super useful to explain movement clearly and succinctly. In our earlier example, you have seen how it helped us to understand sales year on year movement. This is why waterfall chart is extremely popular in the workplace, especially to answer frequently asked questions around why did sales go up or go down from last year versus this year? Why did profit go up or down from last month versus this month? Therefore, being able to create a waterfall chart quickly in Excel and in Power BI is a great skill for everyone to have. But you can uh, use it to present your insight and story around key drivers of sales or profit movement with clarity as well as fit and accuracy. Let's get started. This is a simple sales report that we built a couple of weeks ago. And showcase what Power BI can do in terms of creating interactive dashboard, uh, which is quite pretty. But what this simple chart doesn't quite do is it is not showing why the sales going up year on year. So as you can see in here, for most months, sales in 2014 is higher than 2013. And we don't have anything in here that answers why. And that's when sales waterfall chart can be super handy. And I want to show you how to create that today. So I've pre-created uh, three waterfall charts to explain year-on-year -year movement um, in sales. The first waterfall explains the year-on-year -year movement by country, and then by segment, and by products. And the beauty of this um, sales waterfall chart is that it's interactive. So if you click December month, it explains the movement of sales in December, which is up year on year in various countries and various segments and all product except VTT. And when you click November, it shows you that uh, in some countries, uh, we are seeing a decline, a decrease year on year in some segment as well. But there are uh, other products where it has gone up year on year. So it's, it's quite interactive. You can click a couple of months together by holding control um, button. So this is now showing October, November, December. And likewise, you can also use this waterfall to drill down on what's causing Mexico year on year growth. It's saying, okay, Mexico growth by segment is as follows and by country as follows. Okay? So it's really good. Um, and I want to show you how to do that. And it's quite simple. It wouldn't take us longer than five minutes. Let's get started. Okay. So I will start by copying the overview page. And double click it and rename it to um, New Waterfall. Now, if you are interested in knowing how do I create this page, please watch my previous videos. I'll share with you the link. So uh, let's start with this and let's start by deleting what we don't need. So I'm just going to click and delete stuff that I don't need. I just want to keep one table, which is uh, my 
sales, and charts. And then after that, let's create the waterfall chart. So I open the visualization tab and click waterfall chart. And um, click the fields options uh, panel. And let's start filling in the category, the breakdown, and the values. Let's start with the values. We, we want to create sales waterfall, so let's fill in the values with sales. You want to create profit waterfall, then you need to put profits in these values. Okay, and then type sales in the uh, field search box and drag the sales. Step one done. Step two is, how do you want to see the breakdown of the waterfall? Yeah. I want to see sales by, let's, by country. Yeah. So let's put the country names there. Right. Find country. Uh-oh, where's my stuff? Okay, all you need to do is click that one more time, the um, waterfall, and then uh, drag the country to the breakdown. Still doesn't look like a waterfall, no problem, because we haven't filled in the category. And the category is basically, what do you want to see at the beginning and the end of your waterfall? And what I want to see is the year, so that's what we need to find. So again, find year, and click that waterfall, and drag it to the category. And our first waterfall, almost done just making it bigger earlier now um, something is wrong with this waterfall 2013 is meant to be there and, and then 2014 should be there so what you can do is click the three dots change it to sort ascending and all done yeah, and just check that sort ascending it needs to be sort by year all so, right now that's good okay and I want to get rid of x-axis and y-axis label because they're not really adding any value. So I click format, x-axis, title, turn it off. And then uh, that's the first one done. And then in y-axis, again, go to go down, yeah, go to title and turn it off. So much cleaner. And then next bit is let's add some data label. Click the chart first and then go to data labels and turn it on. Oh, much better. Okay, that's the first one done. And then you can do control C and control V. And let's change country into segment. Click the waterfall, find segment. So I'm going to put it there. Uh, now I have sales by segment. Good. Mm -hmm. And then the next one is by product. Search for product in that um, search field and then drag it to uh, replace the segment in the breakdown. Okay. The next bit that I want to do is just make the title tidier. I just want to call it uh, something a bit different. I'm going to call it, um, so go to format title. I'm going to call it sales, year on year, country. Mm -hmm. And then in here, I want to call it sales, year on year, segment. And then click the last chart. Now I will call it sales, year on year by product and the last bit let's get it off that background make it clean so I click and turn off background you're done how simple is that like that oh nicely filtering i hope you find this video useful and can help you to create waterfall chart in Power BI in the future. I've previously created a video on how to create waterfall chart in Excel in less than one minute, which you may find useful as well. 
I'll provide the link in the description below. See you next time.